wasn't at the last server meeting. I'll uh, call to order the uh, Schenectady Urban Renewal Agency. First item is the acceptance of minutes from our June 17th meeting. Entertain a motion. Move it, Mr. Palomini, second Perrazzo. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? <laughs> minutes stand adopted. Next item is uh, resolution 2019-09, transfer of uh, five properties to the city of Schenectady. <laughs> Entertain a motion. Moved by Mr. Palomini, second by... Uh, CW, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Next item is resolution 2019-10, which is the acceptance of seven properties from the city of Schenectady. Mr. By CW, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Any other business to come before the agency? Aye. Move to adjourn. Adjourn CW, second by Mr. Palomini. The agency stands adjourned. Sorry, it took so long. So, um, I want to open up the city planning and development. No, we don't know the safety first. Oh. I'm sorry, I thought you were. No. Oh. <laughs> My apologies. Call to order public safety. We have three items on the agenda. First item discussed on bicycle safety on Schenectady Street. Mr. Porter, uh, Jan Whipple. Come up here, please. And you got a microphone. To go with all this things now. <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, yesterday I'm right. right. Apparently, we're having difficulties with. Give a couple of comments on what Schenectady PD is doing and what residents and, and our motorists, uh, if they come across these, could do. Uh, again, it's on Facebook all over. There was another poster just coming down Crane Street uh, the other day. A uh, large group. Again, there's 10 that I counted on, on the video that was shown uh, where the youth were actually coming down Crane Street, crossed right over Broadway, directed right through the traffic, stopped numerous cars, horns were sounding. Uh, and again, the kids just continue. Right now. So I know one of our employees here who live close by uh, on Broadway had the same thing with the entire right lane on Broadway, but Bill Italia was blocked off. Um, so again, it's an issue that's out there, and I just want to let folks know that Scanty PD is aware of it and what folks are doing. So I have Lieutenant here just to follow. And thanks for coming. Thank you. Uh, so we're doing a lot of things to.
Any questions? Come in. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just quickly, because I saw it today. How about kids on motorized bicycles? One kid was flying up Genesee Street on motorized bicycles. No helmet, no anything. So that as you can, can you confiscate is, that? I say there's a, there is investigation going on on that right now. Uh, Mark Lewis and kept going back and forth to get to C Street. This is around the bridge. We already did the service. No, we did that in the service meeting. Okay, so now. Um, going the other way. No, now we're going the other way. Right. Shall I take the microphone? No, you're good. You're in the okay. middle. So, you're okay. um, so we're looking at uh, the city taking five vacant lot properties from Sura. Uh, these, I, I know it says zero on all of these properties. Uh, it's only zero because there isn't. Uh, a uh, office number associated with those lots. Um, so we have it by section block and lot. We're going to be merging these five properties, Colonial Avenue, Trumbull Road, Dearborn Avenue, Clement, Clement Avenue, and Trumbull Road um, into the Woodlawn Preserve. Uh, these are lots that cannot be, that, that cannot be built upon. Um, they're better served um, as part of the preserve. So we're looking to uh, take these properties from Sura. Okay, any questions? Make a motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. And the next on the is the transfer of seven properties from Sura. Correct. Um, so these are actually, these are a transfer of seven city owned properties to transfer to Sura. Um, I know it's just, yeah, it's um, a little different than yeah, the way it's written. Um, okay. So we're looking at transferring um, seven properties 20, 22 William Street, 501 Mall. Um, Avenue, 548 Schenectady Street, 956 Crane Street, uh, a lot on the front Avenue, and 71 Lorraine Avenue. And I have the notes in here indicating what we're going to be merging those lots with. Um, so we're going to be, some of these have structures on them, 
and we're merging it with um, another property that doesn't have a structure and some, some of these um, are just lots that we're merging it with a property that has a structure or it's two um, vacant lots that we're going to merge to make them essentially buildable uh, to make a larger lot. Questions? Yes, questions. So Lathrop and Lorraine Avenues are both Woodlawn and I'm very familiar with them. So on Lorraine is actually a house that we have been trying to get rid of and demolish for probably 10 years now. So I'm so glad this thing is on. And Lathrop Avenue was directly in back of that. Uh, and I didn't realize that we're merging with two. Do you have the information or can I check with you tomorrow? Who we're looking to merge these with? And so these are, we're merging them with properties that are currently, um, all these properties here are owned by Sarah. So we're moving it. The only way we can merge it is um, they have to be in the same name of the entity that owns it. So if we have a city of Schenectady property and a Sur property, we can't merge them together unless they have the same owner um, of those properties. So what we're doing is we're going to transfer these properties over from the city to Sura to merge it with a lot or property that's currently owned by Sura. Uh, it's the only way we can merge the lots. And I provided you with, um, I, I believe you all have them, the maps of um, those yeah. properties showing exactly where those properties are and how we're merging them. Um, so the the one on the group, um, we're merging it with, it's a landlocked property. Um, Which one? Um, so it's, uh, for the group where it's the highlighted property, we're merging the property to the right of it. Um, it will still be landlocked, and then the idea is to offer it to, actually we're merging it with, yeah, with the property to the right of it, and then uh, offer it to the person who owns the property in front. Um, and then the, the one on the rain, um, it is merging, and I can, I can identify it better um, on, a, on another map. Showing you the two that are actually going to be part of catching them on that. Yep. Yeah, I can, I'll, I can certainly email. Uh, I'll, I can email Sam, and then everybody can get uh, the the exact uh, properties that are going to be merged. And are they going to knock down seventy one then? Seventy one Lorraine is that going to come down? As far as I know, it's, it's not, not just it's it's unbelievable. It's not, just right. I, that's, yeah, yeah, I'm not familiar with it being on the list of demoed properties. Or so, properties to be to be demolished. So how do we find out what Sarah's going to do? We don't know yet. Or uh, have development to see if it's on um, on their radar for for demolition. Uh, I'm not familiar with it being on uh, the list of round one. Here, you know what we're talking about. Yeah, take pictures of this. I believe it looks terrible, but I'm not sure structurally it's as bad as some of the other ones. There's nothing left at house. There's nothing left. It. It's it's just covered in trees and plants, and the roof is gone. There's literally nothing left of this house. Uh, I'll send you guys pictures okay. tomorrow. I didn't. I put these on my phone. I thought it's a, the structure was in better shape. If it's not, absolutely not. We'll talk about it tomorrow. It's got to come down. Yeah, I'll send you. Can I send you? It sounds like it's already done. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Your area. It's it, it's unbelievable. And now, like I said, the lot that you're talking about is directly in the back. Um, and it looks like a forest. And, and the folks next door at 69 have been talking about this. And they're very happy. But, and I thought I took a picture, but I guess I didn't see it. So I'll shoot it to okay. you folks tomorrow. And just let just a little follow up information so we can tell the neighbors there on the rain that we do have a plan in place and something. Hopefully we'll be down here. And I'll send an email updating. Sorry, I was going to send an email updating with the maps just to identify where the properties are. are. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks, you yeah. On the same note, this 2022 Williams, this is pretty bad shape too. I thought this would be demoed also. Yeah. It's the same thing. The roof is falling down oh. into the first floor. It's all covered with vegetation. So I got more complaints about that in the last two or three years. And I don't think it's structurally sound for sure because the upper floor is collapsing into the lower floor. It's got to be a lot of water in there. Yeah. It's all covered. The front, you can't hardly see the house. It's just a full presentation. Any other questions for the yeah. um, One of the picture motions connecting strong with are there plans for the, for the actual lot? Or the uh, as of right now, there isn't a plan for that. 
Um, part of this is to make it more uh, enticing to somebody who would be interested in purchasing it uh, by enlarging the lot size. Um, you know, obviously, um, I think it's a, a limited footprint of, of a lot um, for the, I mean, essentially the same size lot. Uh, but by putting them together, um, I think it, it makes it more desirable for somebody to want to do something with. I'm just trying to, I, I know we're most Trying to figure out how it, what part of strong is. 548 monthly was a pretty size. I know it was built in a Yeah, I, I believe it's, I mean, essentially they're, we're talking about the same, um, um, I guess, width on, on Schenectady. I think it's, I, I think, I believe it's 45 feet wide. Um, and then you're doubling the, the frontage on, on the strong. Anything else? A little bit. Second. All in favor? Aye. Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay, we are in recess. Okay, call for order public service and utilities. Uh, two items on the agenda. First, the ceremony of the resolution recognizing the Rise High program. Ms. Brock? Yeah, just a program. Actually, they just had an article in the Gazette about it. A uh, program that focuses on STEM. Uh, Intensive STEM for our youth, and uh, then he's working really, really hard to uh, foster that excitement about science. Uh, recognized program. Although we're going to pass it tonight, uh, I will not be in attendance at the 26th meeting at the end of town, so we'll be presenting it on September 9th. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Okay, uh, the other, the second one is a um, ceremony resolution for Donna Ricky for her service at the crossing guard. And, uh, well, Vince told us a lot about it at the last meeting, and uh, so mm -hmm. I thought it would be appropriate to be able to do that. I was hoping she'd stay three more years so we can get like 45, but it's okay. Well, she's almost made 43, two more. <laughs> she made it until October. <laughs> 43. So they'd like to do the next meeting. That'll move it. Second. All of the favor. Did you want for the, record, second. for the record, did you want to move it? <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> well, the record show that. Is there anything else to come before the Second. All of the favor? Aye. We're adjourned. Thank you. All right, I will or, uh, call to order government operations. We have final review for local law banning the use of plastic straws in Samantha, Mr. Parliament. So a survey was asked for, was done. You will see that 70% of those restaurants and bars in the city are uh, prohibition. They were provided the exact language as to what would be in the uh, legislation. And uh, so you asked for that information. You've now received it. So can you tell us where the list came from? It was the... Survey Monkey was created as an anonymous survey so that we could get responses. The email link was sent to Mr. Salango at DSIC okay. and it was sent out to local businesses. Uh, and I also think we had asked about conversation with the county with, with regard to whether they might be willing to uh, move forward with legislation on the county level. Conversations formal conversations and there was nothing in intimate, uh, imminent, imminent is the word I'm trying to say. <laughs> and several have indicated support for the city moving forward with this. Questions? So thank you for doing this, Jan. I appreciate that very much. So, you know, and I just went over one more time again today. In the legislation, it says a person can be fined as well uh, for the offense. Um, you gotta look at that, Johnson. Maybe clarify that for me. And I should have caught that. I just looked at it again with the fines. It says person, business, entity. So does that mean if I'm walking down the street with a plastic straw, be fine? I mean, store no, you, know, you, you can purchase straws outside and certainly walking around. You're not going to get fined for having. Yeah, but if you're looking to think, it said a person. So this strictly is referring to the dissemination of plastic straws. I mean, 
find exact. So, no establishment in the city shall offer to consumers any single use straw or beverage. So, yeah, the person is in there just yes, to cover all the bases, but it's defined as individual business event promoter trust. So, somebody who's actually kind of selling to a consumer because it strictly refers to consumers. So, again, penalties for violations that you're looking at that's what I'm no, so there's the definition of person that. and then under distribution of plastic straws prohibited it says to consumers so you would be selling something to consumers. Okay but look under your penalties so right very last page. I understand the very first verse is any person right and that says. goes back to the definition of person is like person is me. But if you're selling it, then you would be selling to a consumer, and you could get fined. So for clarification purposes, we're talking about servers and bartenders, possibly being for some time? No, oh, we're talking the about establishments. the establishments. The establishments. So we're we talking about like food vendors, and yeah. like the trucks? Yeah. So, as we move forward, how are we letting the like, Devon Food Truck know that this is happening? Letters can be sent out, as we discussed previously. Two letters, one at some point, hopefully September, another one at the end of the year, beginning of the year. So everybody has at least two communications of what the new legislation entails. Other questions? Was, was he actually talking to the county? There's no nothing on the foreseeable future. Right? Hmm. Is there any interest? The few people that I spoke to said they favored the city. But not count the line, okay? I feel the same way as I did before. I'd like to see a count the line. Well, just the announcement of us doing this, there was a lot of action. SUNY Albany took action with banning the plastic straws. Other agencies around the Capital District. The city did? The city of Albany did? SUNY Albany. So there was a lot of uh, just action just on us discussing it at the beginning and for us to back out of leadership. Well, I just need to say July has been the hottest month on record in history this past July. And out of the nine of the top ten, I believe, they've been in the last uh, 10 or 15 years. So. You know, we have some relatively simple steps we can take, incremental steps we can do for environmental action, as well as some of the uh, issues related to litter and garbage. I think it's important for us to be a leader in this regard. Ms. Bro. Yes. So again, uh, my stance has been, and it will always remain the same, is that I'd like to look for state leadership as well. The Senate and Assembly have bills that are they're working on where the straws are optional, uh, where the customer will not automatically be given a straw, um, but if that customer asks for a straw, uh, they given one, uh, perhaps we can ask for that straw, paper straw. I don't care about that, but I just think the optional piece is, is, uh, is, uh, is the way to go with the state, the Assembly, and the Senate working on that. And my other problem is enforcement. Uh, I know we're saying that code enforcement is going to work on this. I just believe we have too many issues that are in front of us right now. Not that this is not an important issue, and I appreciate the action we're taking, uh, but I just believe that this is just another piece of legislation that, quite honestly, the city is not going to be able to step in force. Uh, and uh, I just like to see the state take a leadership, as Mr. Reedy said, the county. I just like to be a state leadership and wait perhaps a little longer to see if we're coming moving on there. Two pieces uh, in the state. <clears throat> Good comment. In regards to the state, there's been something in front of the state for two years. It's 
crashed in committee every single time. And there's no real uh, indication that it's going to get any further this year as well. So we can keep putting it off. We can keep putting environmental stuff off. But we all see what the price is, the storms, the various things. Now, granted, not all of that is strictly due to uh, human activity. There's a variety of issues, but certainly we have our part to play. Uh, so um, I think it's really important that you have to start someplace. Um, I think that the straws are the first step. I think after we do the straws, I think we look at plastic in general. And um, I think we need to be a leader here, as Tony said. We don't. We have to start somewhere. And I had a conversation um, with Phil Steck, and and he thought it was a great idea because it's it's dying in the assembly. If we can start it, then the assembly can kind of run off what we do. I think it's a I think it's an important step for us to work with the county follow us. I think it's a I think it's a step in the right direction. Um, I saw, I don't know if anyone watched 60 Minutes last night, all the plastic and, and what's happening in the ocean. And I know we're miles from the ocean, but every, all the water goes to the ocean, flows to the ocean. The plastic stone, they do not biodegrade, and they end up in a big trash receptacle in the middle of the ocean, and they're trying to figure out how to get rid of it. And I think we need to start here and start, you know, at home someplace, because this is a major issue globally. And I know we're just a small city, but I think we can make an impact. I think we can make a difference. I think it's good legislation. Other questions? We have the votes to that many. Personally, I don't disagree that we should be educating people about plastic and plastic use but then there's styrofoam and uh, a lot of other issues as well and um just think citywide the enforcement of this just like the fact that as a city we have a, a, a law that you can't smoke a child in the car should we smoke children in the car absolutely not never ever ever but how, we're not enforcing it because it's not enforceable at the city level it's got more somebody driving in from Vermont through Schenectady to see Hamilton, and I've seen people come in from other states and other counties. We have no idea this law is on the book. It's not enforceable. And so I just, I would like to see a bigger initiative on this. And it's, I, I guess it's a nice ceremonial thing, but I don't think the enforcement can enforce it. And I would like to see us maybe use education instead and not not force it but just instead say the right thing to the environment. And even like as a state, styrofoam is much more concerned than plastic straws. Yes, Mrs. Wilson. So I I believe that the straws are a start and I believe that once this with the education and the fact that we have we have good support with some of the um, businesses already. I think everyone will fall in line. I don't think this is going to be a heavy lift for code. I think that uh, with social media and the way people are thinking about recycling now, I think that there'll be enough individuals that call out, call people out on it. You know, you don't have a plastic straw as long as it is connected. And I think it will help to um, enforce. I don't think we're going to have to have code enforcement go out. I think that it's going to it's going to happen you know, just based on social media alone. Um, you know, you're right, and styrofoam is next. I mean, I think we need to, we need to start somewhere, and I think starting with a straw is a good place to start, so. Ms. Ford, so, um, Mr. Colleen, you said that you had some, like, informal conversations with colleagues at the county level who support this, um, but yet joining the efforts? So, um, you know, I talked to our city legislators and they were in support. You can call them up and ask them yourself. No, I uh, but when you that. have a 11, 15, you know, you have what six in the city. So, 
that's up to them. They were in favor of the city moving. That's what you were asking me to do. I talked, had conversations. You asked for a survey. The survey was done. Came back in favor. So that's that's what we've done. Okay, so I guess I, I, my understanding of what was asked of the county was just the member um, legislature who lived for in the city, but I thought our, our ask was of all members, whether they in the county, districts three and four, not just districts two. That was my understanding of that. Okay. Did I misunderstand that? I wasn't the one that asked, but that was my understanding of the ask. And that's for the county. That was my feelings on that. We can make it a countywide mission instead of just a city. Well, I think it's, I think the fact that it's struggling at the state level and the fact that it's not imminent at the county level shows how that it's, you know, I don't know. It's not, I mean, it's for the greater good. There's no doubt about that, but it's a lot of minutia and success. Um, so do we have, I guess, beyond even do we have folks to, let me, let's just start with that. Do we have enough folks to vote it out of would be willing to make a motion. Um, so at this point, it doesn't pass up. Okay. So, you know, there are other options that can be explored. Sorry. Well, the only thing you do is just pass a resolution asking the county to enact legislation. No. Session. Second. All in favor? Aye. All righty. We're in executive session. 
for city planning and development. Thank you.